Yo, so as we're talking right now, we're talking about the transfer window, all the rumours, the transfers that have been made. If you had to make a random guess from now to the end of the transfer window, what team does it look like in the Premiership is going to do the best business? I've got a surprising one. Yeah, I think Chelsea could do the best business. Okay. You know why? Because because people are forgetting Unkuku, yeah? Yeah. Who we really signed, who... uh, you know, if we had the same last year, the same this year, everybody would talk, oh, this guy, mm-hmm. top scorer in the Bundesliga, they had a great season last year, hatch against Messi in the Champions League. Like, people would be really hyping up that transfer. But because it's been done, you know, rumoured that he was coming for so long, like, there's not that big buzz and excitement about it. But I think he could be a real big player for us. Um, I think us being able to sell, like, seven or eight of our Deadwood and get the, the get those guys off the wage bill, just make the team more, you know, um, uh, more balanced and, and, and easy to handle. And then the Malo Gusto guy, who's supposed to be like one of the best young right backs uh, in Europe and stuff. And then if if you look at the potential guys, Caicedo, um, who, who else have we been linked Lavia. to? Lavia. We're linked to Lavia. Lavia, Caicedo. Uh, now we're linked to some uh, Osimhen, you know what I mean? The, the potential is there. So, Based on on all the guys that the clubs have been linked with, I say I say Chelsea. Okay. okay. Yeah, like when I look, I was, I was not too. Uh, I think I have a good chance of coming out uh, very well from this, but I'm more impressed with the Chelsea targets as of now. Okay. Um, you know, I'm surprised. I think Villa might have the best transfer winner. I think Villa mm. have been linked to quite a lot of players. Um, I think they're quite ambitious this window. And who they want, they've yeah. really got Chilisman in. I've heard they're linked with a mill. I heard they're mm. interested in Madison. I've heard they're interested in Wood Prowl. Like it seems like they're on the prowl for everybody they can get their hands on. And I do think yeah. at the end of the window, they could sign some good players. I think Arsenal are good, but I think and Chelsea are all right. But I think the problem is, is that one, I think Chelsea have to sign a lot of players. Yeah, they're gonna sign a lot of players because they're getting rid of a lot. And the mm. issue, same with Arsenal, I think Arsenal are, are going to depart a few first teamers, which affects the transfer window because yeah, it's all good signing players, but when you get rid of players, it affects your window. If you if you keep everyone, and you sign players, and that's one thing. But if you sell five or six players who are good players, when you got rid of them, it does affect your transfer window. You know, what I mean, same with Chelsea, get rid of Kante, no matter what Chelsea say, whether they wanted to or they didn't, it's massive. Yeah, you know, and they, there's no way they're selling to me. Not it's not a massive move. Yeah, so I think Chelsea's biggest signing of the season, in my opinion. Mm. Obviously, with the pocket team, is is who you yeah, sign as the goalkeeper. Yeah, yeah. I think right. your goalkeeper, more than your striker, more than your, I think your goalkeeper will determine what level you are. If you guys get an unknown, decent, average goalkeeper, yeah. But if you guys yeah. go out there and get, oh, you know, get the Onana, you get that the Dogo guy at Porto, you go for one of the top yeah. brass or one of the best potential yeah. goalkeepers, yeah. then yeah, would you would you take Pickford? Yeah, no, I agree, I agree. Um, I do think that you can get away with an average goalkeeper for a while. Like, I feel like you can challenge your average goalkeeper. Would you get picked yeah, for like, like, even like, 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 Rams, I don't think he's top class. I think he's good goalkeeper. I don't, I don't think he's top I don't think goalkeeper. he's average. I don't mean the average. I agree. I don't no, think no, he's no, top average. average. No, average. Yeah. But, but I mean, like, good. Like, like good. just a good goalkeeper. Yeah. But also, if you have, like, a real top defense, I feel like you can carry an average goalkeeper. You mean, like... like I, thought, I thought at times when Lloris was trash and Tottenham was still, was still carrying him yeah. and they were still coming second. I don't think they can carry him now. I don't think they can carry him now. But yeah, because 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 the team itself is trash. I'm saying that if you had a really, if you had that that old wild Patongan, uh, Walker, uh, what's that? I don't, think, I don't think they ever carried him when he was average. I think he was good and then he wasn't. Yeah, and I think he was good and then he wasn't. That guys are making mistakes for a while, son. Yeah, for like I mean, five, six years, five, six years since yeah, after the World Cup. Uh, since after the World Cup. Um, but yeah, but no, I agree with you. A, a goalkeeper is key. The only problem is the market now. They just, they just, they're not. They'll be so they're so overpriced. Like goalkeepers are more expensive now than they've ever been. Mm-hmm. Uh everybody's like Allison, Allison numbers, 70 million, 80 million, which is crazy. Would you want Unana at Inter? Yes. I do like him. I do like him. I, the, the crazy thing is they're going for free last year because uh, <laughs> yeah, because there's a charge. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, that, that was a very good pickup uh mm-hmm. uh by them. Which is poor by Premier League clubs again. I was counting levels down. Now we're going to get paid fifty million for them, but I'm happy to give them Lukaku. You know, what I mean, Lukaku. You know, you know, yeah. Do you, do, you think, mm-hmm. do you think that um, Tillsman was a loss of the top six, or do you think that he is where he should be at? Um, it's a fun. It's a funny one. The guy's star has really dropped in the last mm-hmm. year or two. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think he's a good squad player. Yeah, I, mean, I don't. I don't think he's he's going to come in and start any of the top four teams and like make like a massive difference. Actually, no. 
if we if we if we went to Spurs, but Spurs not really in top four anymore. Mm. But but like a Spurs, I can see him starting there. If he can find his form back to two three years ago, then yeah, that's a big miss. But it's it's a bit iffy. So I, I can understand why things were like, mm, no, nah, we'll, we'll just get sure. off. Okay. Yeah. But but that's but that's a good sign for Aston Villa, though. Yeah. You know. Great sign yeah. for them. Instant start for them. I'm surprised yeah. why he went. I thought maybe he'd hold out a bit longer and see what other teams he could go to. I'm surprised he went to Aston Villa. Uh, Aston no, Villa but we have to remember from January he's allowed to do all this uh, negotiation, mm-hmm. and he's like, nobody's coming for me, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's surprising. Yeah. Yeah. That's surpri- I'm surprised. Like, you are, you are off him completely. I feel like there's a rumor that's gone around uh, the Premier League. Like, yo, this guy doesn't have the stamina. Yeah. This guy, this guy, gonna because I hear a lot of people saying it. You know, a lot of fans say it online. It's like something that's maybe it's like repeated in like journalist circles. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that 60 minute the guy just gasses out. Yeah, you know, I haven't seen it, but um, well, I don't think it's as bad as what people. I heard say the work rate. Right. I heard his work rate's not. High. I think yeah, but but M, but that, that's surprising because Emery is all work rate though. Mm-hmm. So I, I don't see Emery. He is, he is. He is. I think he yeah. is. I think Emery is, but I think Emery sees the. Ta- I think Emery will take a break on someone if he sees the talent. He will see the talent and he think, oh, you know what? We haven't got no one that's as technically gifted in our midfield. I'll take a risk on this guy. And allow him to be the special guy in the team because I think that in the side of their midfield they haven't got a special midfielder in terms of technical and he walks into that midfield as the technical guy. I think he'll love being like the guy that's favourite to the team and he can do what he wants and he can lay the ball and do this and shoot from distance. I think he'll love being that guy. But I think deep down in his heart he wished that he went to an Arsenal or Newcastle or this that someone else that he could have you know. What, what do you think of uh, Trent playing number ten? That shit was crazy. No, yeah, he was he was great. For England, but yeah, it's, nah, it's Moto, so, I don't yeah. know if they got in a Premier League game, but it's Mo- it's that, would be, that would be the most amazing transition to go from right back to 10. Yeah, nah, yeah. That, 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 he always that, had the that, technical that, ability to change positions, though. The yeah, funny thing me, is, you know, the funny thing 10, is, though. yeah, I, I would say the funny thing is a bad defending right back. Mm. So I remember someone said, Oh, he can't defend. I said, No, 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 he can't defend for a right back. There's a complete difference yeah. for defending for a right back and then defending mm. for a center midfielder, it's a complete different thing. Because, yeah, because yeah. a right back requires you to be good one on one defender. Being a centre mid, you don't need to be defensive mid, maybe, but a centre mid, you don't yeah, need to be a great one on one defender. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. In, in, yeah. yeah. in fact, yeah. in, in fact, for a centre midfielder, he's probably quite a good tackler because most centre midfielders are just average tacklers. They're nothing special. Yeah. Now listen, if it was been a DM or like a Pelo, yeah. yeah, you know. But if I had him number ten, it him ahead of uh, Rice and uh, yeah. he has the technical Rice. ability to do it. Right, right next to. Yeah, but back to go is very different. Yeah. You know? Like that, that, that number 10, a lot of times you're receiving the ball, you're facing your midfield. The, the you saw what he did to Zinchenko. You saw what he did to Zinchenko. I did. You know, mm-hmm. I, saw, I saw what he did. But the goal he scored, amazing goal. Um, yeah, that that would be great. I think if if, if that if, if Salve pulls that off, yeah. he needs to get my credit. Are you, my are, credit. You surprised, are you surprised that no other teams have come in for Trent? Like top teams have been like, you know what, like we need to... Like Real Madrid or the bosses, because he's their profile. I think, right? Yeah, I think it's I think profile. it's almost like a I think it's almost like a Gerard Lampard situation. Where they just think he won't go. Like, things, yeah, they, they think it won't go. They don't really push hard. Because he's their pro. Like, I remember people are cussing whatever, but he's their profile. Like if you look for Real Madrid's right back, Real, I remember someone said, "Oh, but he can't defend." Real Madrid have never looked for a right back that's a great defender. Yeah. Never in life has Real Madrid been like, "Rah, like you know what we need? We need someone who's a great tackler." That's the, no. They want Hollywood. They want a guy like Trent who's going to shoot from how long? Yeah, they want Hollywood. Yeah, he'd be perfect for that team and, and Bass as well. Yeah, you know mm-hmm. I mean, they'll they'll be like, we'll deal with his defending layer. We'll buy in a defensive mid that can cover for him or this that run the ball. But so long as you can do the Hollywood passes and the free kicks and the long shots, nah, nah we like Hollywood. Do you know yeah, what I mean? We like Hollywood. Maybe, maybe late, late in his career. Yeah. yeah, but guys, make sure that you put down some um, players that you think should certain teams go to. Do you think Oshman's overrated? Do you think Premier League teams should go for him? Do you think we should look at the French league or that the fact that Lacazette scored over 20 goals, that league is redundant? Just saying. Yeah. <laughs> make sure you like, share. Uh, yeah, he, he was quite close to a guy called Mbappe, but yeah. Yeah. Huh? I mean, he was quite close Mbappe to a guy Mbappe called Mbappe. Mbappe, Mbappe, the World Cup winner. But anyway, yeah, um, uh, yeah, guys, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Uh, make sure you follow us on our YouTube. We're going to post some of this up on TikTok, possibly to Instagram. You might even see us on Facebook. Wherever you see us, like, share, subscribe. And if you ever want to come on the show or just give your comments, comment down below. We out. Peace.